During aging, the skin goes through many structural changes and degeneration, which not only makes us look older, but also leaves the skin more vulnerable to certain conditions, such as eczema, dermatitis, carcinoma, and melanoma. However, there are some supplements that have been shown to reverse skin aging and make it look younger and healthier. That's what I'm going to talk about in this video. Not the fundamentals of diet and exercise, but supplements that have been shown to improve skin aging. Number 1. Collagen Peptides Collagen is the most abundant protein in the body, making up 30% of your entire bodily protein. Unfortunately, starting already at the age of 20, you lose a bit less than 10% of your skin's collagen content with every decade. By the age of 70, you could have lost up to 50% of your skin collagen content. One of the most obvious things you can do to slow down the loss of collagen with aging is to take a collagen supplement. It's almost like a cliche, but does it actually work? Spoiler, yes it does. There are many human clinical trials, including including a 2023 meta-analysis of 26 randomized controlled trials showing that collagen peptides improve skin hydration, reduce wrinkles, and reverse signs of skin aging. The mechanisms of how collagen improves skin aging were summarized by a 2020 mechanistic review, which identified three main mechanisms. Number one, collagen peptides are precursors to collagen synthesis in the skin. Number two, collagen peptides can stimulate collagen synthesis and proteoglycans production in the skin. And three, collagen peptides can increase skin turnover by affecting immune cells. The dosages used in these clinical trials range from as little as 2.5 grams a day up to 15 grams a day. And they come from both bovine and marine sources. It also appears that it has to be specifically the peptides, not regular collagen, but the peptide structure and low molecular weight peptides that give those results. So taking about 10 grams of low molecular weight collagen peptides a day can have positive effects on skin aging. Number 2. Glycine. The body does make its own collagen, but in inadequate amounts. The precursors of collagen are proline, hydroxyproline, and glycine. Glycine makes up 30% of collagen and is by far the most important amino acid there. For optimal collagen turnover, you need at least 12 grams of glycine per day, but it could be even as high as 36 grams. We don't know. Your body makes only 3 grams and you need 3 grams for other functions like making glutathione and creatine. So the actual minimal daily requirement for glycine is more like 15 grams, 12 grams a day for collagen turnover, and 3 additional grams for glutathione creatine synthesis. The reason why we don't make optimal amounts of glycine is that glycine synthesis in the body isn't regulated by its demand, and instead there's a weak link in the metabolism when it comes to glycine biosynthesis. And evolution obviously doesn't care about skin aging. It only cares about reproductive success and survival within only the first decades of life. That's why our bodies haven't evolved for optimal longevity which is why we also don't produce enough glycine, including many other things that go wrong with aging. Glycine also protects against advanced glycation end products or AGEs that develop when you cook foods at high temperatures. These AGEs are one of the primary things that degrade skin collagen at an accelerated rate. So if you're taking 10 grams of collagen peptides a day, you're getting only 3 grams of glycine from that, which isn't the optimal amount. This is one of the reasons why I personally take around 10 grams of extra glycine per day. Number 3. Astaxanthin Astaxanthin is another supplement that's been shown to improve skin condition and photoaging. Astaxanthin is a carotenoid you get from pink, red, and orange foods that has a very high antioxidant effect. Astaxanthin's high antioxidant value makes it effective for protecting against UV radiation and photoaging. A 2021 systematic review and meta-analysis of randomized controlled trials found that oral astaxanthin supplementation 2 to 12 mg a day for 4 to 16 weeks was able to improve skin moisturization and elasticity, but not reduce wrinkle depth. Another 2021 review of clinical trials saw that a dose of 3 to 6 mg a day of astaxanthin had benefits for photo-aged skin by reducing skin wrinkling and UV damage. In middle-aged volunteers, taking 4 mg of astaxanthin per day for 4 weeks was seen to reverse age-related morphological changes of the facial skin, especially in obese individuals. So a dose up to 12 mg a day of astaxanthin can be beneficial for skin aging but there doesn't appear to be any specific effects on wrinkles. An additional mechanism of astaxanthin for skin anti-aging has to do with senescent cells. Senescent cells are considered to be one of the main drivers of intrinsic skin aging, and senescent cells increase with age. Astaxanthin has senolytic properties, which means it can eliminate these pro-inflammatory senescent cells that accumulate during aging. One of the potential mechanisms of that is the induction of autophagy. I want to take a quick break to let you know about my favorite wellness devices, which are the Bond Charge Red Light Therapy devices. 
devices. You've probably seen many of your favorite longevity influencers using these red light therapy devices, but do they actually work? Yes, they do. Red light therapy has been shown to have many benefits on skin anti-aging, hormone optimization, pain management, and even exercise performance. I use my device every day for 15 minutes, especially during the winter months when there's not much sunlight. It increases my energy in the morning and makes my skin glow. Just check out the testimonials on the Bond Charge website for the before and after pictures of other people. Most red light therapy devices don't have the right wavelengths of light, which might mean you're not getting the claimed benefits. Bond Charge uses the exact wavelengths of light used in research, and they also have near-infrared light that's beneficial to the joints. Head over to bondcharge.com and use the code SIM, S-I-I-M, for a 15% discount. Number four, hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid, also called hyaluronan, is a compound in the extracellular matrix that maintains lubrication and water. It's like a gooey substance found in the skin, joints, organs, and all other connective tissue. Hyaluronic acid levels in the skin decrease with age, which is why aged skin looks more dry. Hyaluronic acid in the skin starts decreasing after the age of 25, and a 75-year-old person has only one-fourth of the hyaluronic acid as someone who's 19 years old. Hyaluronic acid creams and serums are very popular and they're said to improve skin hydration and wrinkles. There have been many clinical trials showing that they do work. But in this video, we're talking about supplements. Oral supplementation of hyaluronic acid in human clinical trials has been seen to reduce wrinkles and dryness compared to placebo. In a 2021 randomized controlled trial, they found that 120 mg a day of hyaluronic acid for 12 weeks improved skin condition and decreased wrinkles in 40 healthy Asian people between the ages of 35 and 64. Another 2017 randomized controlled trial showed that oral hyaluronic acid at a dose of 120 mg a day and at both a molecular weight of 2 kilodaltons and 300 kilodeltons improved skin condition and wrinkles. However, the higher molecular weight of 300 kilodeltons showed significantly greater effects in alleviating wrinkles. So, a supplemental dose of 120 milligrams a day of hyaluronic acid can have positive effects on skin aging, with the high molecular weight of 300 kilodeltons giving superior results. However, there's some fear about hyaluronic acid promoting cancer. That's because hyaluronic acid is involved in the proliferation and motility of all cells, including cancer cells. Is it true that hyaluronic acid can promote cancer? Indeed, overexpression of hyaluronic acid synthase has been seen to cause cancer metastasis. However, a 2014 study administered 200 mg per kilogram per day of hyaluronic acid for four weeks to mice who already had tumors, and they found that hyaluronic acid had little to no effects on cancer. They also looked at the effects of high as well as low molecular weight hyaluronic acid on human cancer cell lines in vitro and neither of them influenced cell growth or capillary formation. There's also these naked mole rats that live significantly longer than other rodents and their skin has a lot of hyaluronic acid, which is one of the reasons why they appear to be resistant to cancer. There are no human trials linking hyaluronic acid supplementation with cancer and oral hyaluronic acid is deemed to be safe in animal studies. So hyaluronic acid is pretty much much safe and it has positive effects on slowing down skin aging. Number five, niacinamide. Niacinamide is a form of vitamin B3 that's been shown to enhance skin barrier function, improve skin hydration, and reduce pigmentation. Niacinamide is a popular ingredient in skincare products because it stimulates collagen synthesis. In a 12-week randomized controlled trial, using topical moisturizer with 5% niacinamide was seen to reduce wrinkles, fine lines, redness, and hyperpigmentation in 50 middle-aged women. There's currently no evidence that I found that oral niacinamide supplementation would reduce wrinkles or reverse skin aging. However, there are studies showing that oral niacinamide supplementation reduces the rates of new non-melanoma skin cancer. Niacinamide appears to also protect the skin against some UV radiation and enhance DNA repair. Niacinamide also promotes NAD production, which is an enzyme needed for energy production. NAD levels have been seen to be important for protecting the skin against sunburns, as the body uses NAD and energy to promote DNA repair. So, taking a cheap and effective NAD booster like niacinamide, you can have some indirect skin anti-aging benefits by supporting DNA repair. So, here are the top 5 most evidence-based skin anti-aging supplements. Number 1, collagen peptides, 10 grams a day. Number 2, astaxanthin, 12 milligrams a day. Number 3, hyaluronic acid, 120 milligrams a day. Number 4, niacinamide, 200 milligrams a day. And number 5, glycine, 10 grams a day. I personally take all of these every day, with the exception of niacinamide, that I 
I take only a few times a week. If you want to check out the other supplements that I take, then check out the free supplement list in the description. Other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click a like and subscribe for future videos about living longer and staying healthier. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.